Today we're going to be counting down seven new TV shows and movies coming out July 2022 that feature queer women in them. So let's get right into this. Coming out July 1st is volume two of Stranger Things season four. It might not work out for us this time. Big fan of Stranger Things. Uh, we have Robin in Stranger Things who is canically queer. She is in love with like, uh, what's her name? I can't remember. Someone that's in her band with her. She has this very dorky crush on her and I love it. But I'm also shipping Robin with Nancy, so there's that. So volume two is coming out July 1st. I still haven't watched it. I know it's July 2nd right now and like the whole internet has seen it, but whatever. I'm a big fan of Stranger Things though and uh, I'm very excited except nervous to watch it. Um, and nothing better happened to Robin, to be honest, or I'm done. I'm done, but I'm assuming nothing happens. <laughs> Coming out July 6th in theaters is Thor Love and Thunder. After saving planet Earth for the 500th time, Thor set off on a new journey. I'm a big Marvel fan. Like I love my superhero shows. They're just a lot of fun. So I'm very excited for Thor. Uh, you know, just based on the fact that I, I love the Thor character. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but we've also got uh, Tessa Thompson playing Valkyrie, um, who is canically queer. And I believe they said that they were going to be representing that in this movie. I don't know how much of a capacity they can, they can show because I mean, Marvel films, they don't show much romance to begin with. So I don't, I don't know what to expect, but I am excited for it because I love, love Tessa Thompson, love Valkyrie, I love Thor. I would love to see Natalie Portman's Thor. Is it is it the mighty Thor? Is that um, what she's called? I, I would love to ship her with, with Valkyrie. Is it gonna happen? Probably not. <laughs> I think they're setting up that whole thing between her and, and Chris's Thor. I don't know. I have no idea what to expect in regards to Valkyrie's queerness in Thor Love and Thunder, but I'm excited for it nonetheless. So that's coming out in the theaters July 6th. Another movie coming out in July is One Up. It's coming out July 15th. Do you ever stop gaming? Only to eat and sleep. One Up will be releasing on Prime Video. It, I believe it's like a Buzzfeed production or something like that. It, it looks like a budget film, right? It looks very cheesy, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of keen on it. I, it, it's kind of right up my alley. It's about like esports and um, this girl, you know, <sighs> just sick of being uh, like gaslit in her, in her um, current team. And so she goes and creates a, a, an all female team, which here for, honestly. They recruit uh, Ruby Rose's character as a coach for this team. And I don't know specifically where the queer will lie, but everything that I've read on it says this is gonna be a queer film. I'm assuming maybe in Ruby Rose's character, maybe multiple characters, I don't know. Like I'm hoping maybe a couple of the teammates are in love. Let's let's hope for that as well. <laughs> but as cheesy as it looks, I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty, I'm pretty interested in it because like I said, it's right up my alley. I love esports um, and I love cringe stuff, to be honest. I watch soap operas, so who am I to judge? <laughs> So one up is coming out Prime Video July 15th. We've got two like musicals coming out July 27th. So the first one is Rebelde season two. También tienes haters. What? Significa que ya lo hiciste. Very excited for Rebelde. I um I did a video on uh, season one. So I did sort of reaction video of Andy and is it Amelia? Anyway, their relationship from season one. Um, I had a lot of fun with that. It's. I don't know, it's got, you know, those cheesy soap opera-ish vibes. I mean, it's like a musical, like, you know what to expect. <laughs> so I'm very curious to see what season two brings. There was a lot of ups and downs in season one. So yeah, I'm very curious to see what season two brings. And also coming out July 27th is High School Musical, the musical, the series, season three. That is a, like, a, a mouthful, right? <laughs> you guys are gonna be the first camp to put on Frozen! I haven't seen High School Musical, the musical, the series. Um, <laughs> I'm, I don't really have any intention of watching it, but uh, I'm mentioning it in this video because obviously, uh, the trailer dropped for it, season three trailer, and has Jojo Siwa in it. And we love Jojo, right? And she's dancing with a girl. She's just, love her. She's in it. I mean, the show looks gay to begin with anyway, right? <laughs> so, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know if any of you guys have seen it. If you have, 
Would you recommend people watching it? Let us know in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, High School Musical, the musical, the series, season three, coming out on Disney Plus July 27th. Releasing July 28th on HBO Max is Harley Quinn season three. Harley and Ivy are back! Now I love the Harley Quinn series. I have only watched season one. I've had season two sitting here ready to watch for like a year, like since I first started watching season one. Um, and then I was like putting it off waiting for season two, uh, season three. And that was taking forever to have any release dates. But now that we have a season three coming up, I am gonna be watching season two, <laughs> obviously. But love, love the first season. It was a lot of fun. It was just ridiculous. And I love, uh, I mean, I know sort of, what develops in season two with Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. Excited for that. So I'm excited to see where all that leads in season three. I was gonna do like reaction videos for it, but I feel like probably too raunchy for YouTube. <laughs> like I feel like I will get continuously demonetized if I try and uh, do reaction videos to Harley Quinn. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. One, do you think I should do reaction videos? And two, do you think YouTube will let me? <laughs> but yeah, uh, Harley Quinn dropping HBO Max season three, uh, July 28th. Coming out July 29th on Prime Video is Paper Girls. What are you doing in my house? What are you doing in my house? Paper Girls is a, a an adaption from a, a graphic novel. I haven't read the graphic novel, um, but from my understanding of the graphic novel, there are a couple queer characters in it. From what I've read, uh, KJ and Mac uh, are queer and I believe um, get into a relationship. Uh, I think there is a whole backstory of Mac being quite uh, homophobic, has a lot of internalized homophobia. I'm not sure if that storyline will play out in this series. Yeah, I'm really interested to watch Paper Girls. I have only heard like good things about the, the graphic novel. Um, so I should probably check out the graphic novel as well. Uh, but I'm very, very excited to watch the, the series Paper Girls when it drops uh, Prime Video July 29th. We also have releasing in July, continuing on from June. We've got Flunk, the web series. Um, we've got The Boys, Irma Verp, For All Mankind, Motherland, Fort Salem, uh, and Only Murders in the Building. So that's seven new TV shows and movies coming out in July 2022 that feature queer women in them. If you know of any others coming out in July, let us know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I will see you all in my next video. Okay, bye.